I guess then due to the range, you'd be more likely to be going from city to city rather than into city. Um, and I guess with the main use cases then, would that be for travel? Would that be for cargo? Would that be for military use? Where would you be seeing other? Yeah, so great question. Um, we see ourselves again as very complementary, and uh, there's going to be a lot of great work done in the all electric space in the shorter ranges. Uh, we are between cities instead of between points within a city, if that makes sense. Uh, when you have a helicopter capability that is essentially twice as fast as a helicopter and much cheaper to operate on a per mile basis, a lot of interesting missions open up. So uh, initially, emergency medical services. So imagine getting folks that are injured to the hospital in half the time, which would be amazing, or from that you know, twice the distance in that golden hour when it's really critical that they receive medical care, um, time sensitive drugs. So uh, radioactive isotopes for cancer research between hospitals, uh, organ transport between, uh, you know, two hospitals or, or, or locations that require that. And then moving out to any sort of time sensitive cargo that needs to um, get to a certain place uh, quickly and very efficiently. So in Canada, and actually in the United States, there's a lot of very remote communities uh, that don't have access anymore to any sort of regional airports that are close. And, and it's especially challenging in the Canadian North and writ large across the United States, there's lots of opportunities to connect these communities with a more efficient way to get them the stuff that they need critically uh, to improve their quality of life.